Good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome to the Dear Love Podcast. You can catch us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Listen Notes, Google Music, all that good stuff. You already know how this go. Let's get right into it. I can't say enough how I miss being a kid. I sit back and I just watch every year. I'm 30 now, so I, I've been watching every year that they decide to bring the IX Center back. Now, I thought they said, I could be wrong. Well, obviously I'm wrong, but I thought they said they were done with the IX Center. Like they wasn't bringing it back. I mean, I'm sorry, they weren't bringing it back and it was too much stuff going on up there, fights and all of that. I'm just a, a firm believer in like, in today's society, you just can't do nothing no more. It's hard to be like on top. It's hard to, to take care of your families. And I really used to sit back and again, tell people like, thank God that I made it to 30. You got people not even making it to 25. Um, It's a lot of stuff that happens on an everyday basis, man. As far as killings and shootings and fights, and we just so quick to just want to record it, which leads me again back to the IX Center. The IX Center to me is a indoor, basically like a shopping mall with just rides in it. Because again, you can't go to the IX Center without being like on your A game as far as how you dress. Uh, the people you with. And I just think about all types of stuff now. Like the world's so crazy. Because I think it was a couple years back that somebody had like snuck in the IX Center. Or I won't even say they snuck in. Or they had a weapon. or I think somebody got stabbed or it was some girls that was fighting. I remember a couple years ago at a a, I, a local IHOP. Um, someone died. I think it was on prom night or something. Somebody got killed at the IHOP. It's like. When we going to just uh decide to be happy for each other, decide to represent each other, and decide to care for one another. It don't always got to be like you better than me or me hating. And I feel like you get that same vibe at the IX Center. I feel like that's probably why I haven't been in such a crazy rush to go back. Because it's always some fights. And again... Rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle, of course. You know, he passed away. It just make you think about life. It make you think about everything that you do on an everyday basis. It kind of make you want to give up. They always say, push forward, push forward. Yeah, but every time we push forward, we get killed. And then it's like, oh, okay, well, the next person could step up and represent. And then they go, it's like, it's just an ongoing process. And it really shows you that we just don't love each other. I don't care how many times we preach love and positivity. It's fake. All this shit is fake, man. Where is the love? Where is that? Somebody point me to it. Do we got to go buy it somewhere? Is it too expensive? I think that's what it is. Love is just too expensive to have. Because we seem to just do whatever we want. So many fights at the IX Center, they decide to keep bringing it back. It's like, it's all about that dollar. It's all about the money. And again, condolences to Nipsey Hussle and his family. Now that we've got the sad part out the way, let's talk about some good that the IX Center also brings. So not only does it bring the thugs and the women and the guys who just want to have some fun, it brings a lot of, uh, how can I put it? A lot of good food, man. Look at me being fat. Like, I don't know anywhere else to really get great elephant ears. Like, that's the, actually, that's the first time I ever had elephant ears is when I went to the IX Center. But not only is the, the food decent, why is it so damn high? Like, why is it so high? Somebody please tell me why food is so high. When you go to these amusement parks and different places, we already paying a million dollars to get here. But you know us, we get the little tickets at Marks and different places to get into the IX Center. 
I was always a firm believer in if anybody could get in there, I don't need to be there. <laughs> like if, if my little brother could walk in the same spots that I'm walking in, yeah, we got a big issue. But the IX Center is pretty dope, man. I haven't been in a while, but I heard they added some new rides and typical stuff that you would do at an amusement park. But I'd be more so in it for to see, like, who going to get caught up. Because I think I've said this before. Like, you you always know somebody at these amusement parks. You always just see, it's, it's always one person. Oh, hey, Therese. Like, oh, man. You got to hit them with the the old line. Oh, I'm here with my mom. She around here somewhere. <laughs> or, oh, hey, such and such. Yeah, this is my, uh, my sister. Or just act like you don't hear them at all and just keep walking. Like, can you imagine trying to use that line? Your big grown ass going into me. I'm here with my mom. Yeah. And who else? Who else came with y'all? So it's just best to always go to those type of places with a clear head. Somebody once told me if you want to take somebody, you want to take somebody out to eat, you take them far out. <laughs> so you're not around like your regular area. Y'all ain't hear that from me because I don't know nothing about that. But yeah, man, you get to the IA Center. It's always the one rod. I always, I don't even know if it's still there. The musical express used to be my shit. I used to love getting on that because I'm not a big roller coaster head. I'm scared, man. I just feel like I'm going to get on and something just not going to go right. I don't know why. Like, granted, we know all of the um, rides have been tested and everything, but I'm a firm believer in it, man. If it was man made, it can, it can, a mistake can be made, you know, so. I always like I'm I'm scared of roller coasters, but some of them do be looking kind of dope. Now I get on like the little water rides and stuff like that, but I be seeing some of them kids who like six, seven as far as height, but they only 12 and they be getting on these rides and stuff. Cause remember back then it used to be, you know, the height requirement. You got to be at least this tall to get on shit. You got five year olds that's passing that. So now what we got to change the rules a little bit. But you always get on a ride, and like I said with the movies before, it's always one person who's just a pro at riding these rides, and they ride them all the time. And they just making the experience for you very hard. So, you know, you hear the little tsh. Once you hear that sound, you know it's about to get going. So it, and like the roller coaster that I did get on, it jerked a little bit before it started. I said, oh my God. And here they go, here we go. Here we go. We going up, y'all. It's like, hey, I, I, I know we going up. I'm 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 on the ride right with you. I, I I'm I'm next to you, man. Can you shut up? I know we going up. I, I see look, the ground getting smaller. I, I see it. I, I know we going up. So you go up and he's like, here we go. It's like, dude, I know, and then before you can even finish, your brain is in the back of you because y'all flying down this big hill and your mouth open and your eyes wide and they taking pictures of you. So now you're getting off the ride looking like, man. I wasn't scared, but really you shaking. Yeah. I, I, all of that that I just said comes in my head before I even get on a ride. So I just say, nah, I'm good. I'll ride the rides like that. Stay on one level. They ain't doing no jumping jacks. They ain't hitting backflips. We just cruising around like that. That's the rise that I like. Let's get on those. Obviously I'd be like the only one in the room. You know, when it come to wanting to ride them type of rides, yeah, they don't fuck with me. So that's when I just grew to love for, like I said, uh, elephant ears. I said, I'm going to go to these places and I'm going to eat. And I'm going to enjoy everybody else having fun. But I'm going to just sit back and eat, man. Can't go wrong with eating. And then if I do got to get on a ride, they can't say I'm scared because I'm like, yeah, I just, uh, I just ate. So I can't get on no rides. So they say, oh, okay. You'll wait about an hour and a half. But you ready to ride? So I got to make sure within that hour and a half, I set my alarm on my phone to go eat some more. <laughs> and why does time fly by so fast when you at these places? Like Sky Zone, for instance. Went to Sky Zone, spent a million dollars for one hour. And like that hour literally was like five minutes. And I'm like, wait a minute. I thought kids got an hour. And then they make you put like this little stamp on you 
I guess to say like, hey, this is when your time is up. I mean, I just come with a marker and change that shit. Like, I ain't got time for that, man. You think I'm about to jump for only an hour, even though that's a lot of time when it come to just jumping, but it's like it costs so much money. Just let me jump forever. I mean, who really got time? But just like the movies and just like the IX Center, you got that one person who just, n listen, he know his big ass ain't supposed to be in here jumping. It's all these kids in here, and here he come jumping. It's like, all right, kids, let's let's go on over here and do something else. Like, you hate to say that in front of people, but it's like, dude, you see these kids right here. Why are you over here? It's kind of like a, a unwritten rule when it comes to spots like that. You know, if you know you super big out here like man come on don't don't be going to sky zone trying to jump just be a spectator or be the the photography man that or the photographer that just takes the pictures of all the people and do stuff like that and that's not a knock on nobody that's just honestly being real like i know it's certain things that i i don't want to do like i would never be in a speedo why would i wear a speedo and make everybody uncomfortable at the at the party or at the swimming pool area <laughs> Just certain things you don't do. But going to the IX Center again is an experience when you're growing up. I feel like everybody should experience it. Once you did it a couple of times, though, it's like, all right, I've done it. And then at that point, it's your job to just kind of show somebody else how great it is. But if you've ever been, I'm sure it's the same with a couple of new flashy rides. But if you haven't been... You need to make sure you get to it and take somebody. But again, like I said, just just be careful, man, because there's so much crazy shit that's happening nowadays. You just got to be careful. It's, it's a shame you can't even go to the IX Center with your loved ones and have fun because somebody's going to be there trying to shoot the bitch up. So, But again, that's anywhere you go in life. So it's not just the IX Center. It's anywhere you go, you want to try to be safe. But it just seems like every time a group of people get together, even if it's just to have a great time, we just turn it into turmoil. We turn it into hate. We turn it into, oh, I remember seven years ago, he did something to me, let me retaliate like this. And it's so sad. We don't even beat people up no more. It's like, hey, I'm going to take your whole life. I just think that sucker shit. I ain't really down with that, but. To each his own, man. Again, rest in peace to everybody we lost this week. It's sad that we only do it when we lose somebody major, but, you know, rest in peace to all the families in the world that lost somebody. We all praying for each other. And that's how it should be. Dear love, T. Shaw, I'm out of here.